Hey, hey, it's the Magnificent One, creator of the independent comic book, Kinetic. Go check me out on Indiegogo. So I know there's probably been a million videos about this, but I do want to discuss the whole Gina Carano situation. Essentially, what she has been accused of is writing inflammatory tweets on Twitter, which led to Disney letting her go and announcing a statement that her tweets were abhorrent and that she would no longer be part of the company nor the Star Wars franchise. I think that's interesting. Um, I actually looked at some of the tweets and the thing is they are full of what I would call hoopers and hoopers is just essentially a form of sarcasm and a way of stating things that shouldn't be taken too seriously. Um, and then the last one, I was somewhat confused because they said it was anti-Semitic. I didn't see that. And what makes it even stranger is now she is making a deal with Ben Shapiro, who is a well-known person of the Jewish faith. So it is interesting, though, because it brings up a question of why does a mixed martial artist who turned into a career of acting suddenly get destroyed and brought down just because of, um, I mean, really, it's political views, right? So, <clears throat> because of this, it's you, you kind of have to look at the way the world is now. You've got kind of two sets of people. You've got builders and you've got destroyers. And uh, the people I'll refer to as um, social justice warriors or SJWs, they tend to be destroyers of things. What I mean by that is there is a segment of them that obviously... They want to uplift people in that they want to you know, look out for the betterment of all mankind. But a lot of them now are just kind of um, individuals who just want to tear down people. They look at people and they find any reason to find a, a, a flaw in the armor where they just want to tear them down. And Gina Carano is one of those individuals. You know, I mean, what did she do? She made a couple of maybe off-color jokes. Um, she refused to go along with it, some narratives that they put out there. I don't know if any of this is something that should result in you losing your job. And she'll be fine. She'll land her feet. But getting back to that point of um, builders and destroyers, what it comes down to is there is a cure for this. And it's not an easy cure. It is literally what she's doing now. And you leave the place where people are targeting you to destroy you. And you find a new place where you actually build things. And the opportunity to build things then allows you to um, go ahead and create something that eventually they will want to get want to uh, destroy. But at least you have a new avenue of doing it. So in this case, what happened is um, Gina Carano is now working with the Daily Wire. You'll see here that uh, that's best known for the Ben Shapiro show. And along with him, she will be producing and making movies or a TV series or something, some sort of media that she will have full ownership of that will be free of the political platforms and policies that seem to be common. So good for her. And by doing that, by actually building something new, there is no need to sort of bend the knee to the, the individuals who bring these statements, these um, that want to just kind of destroy you, right? It's it's kind of akin to if let's go back to high school and you're sitting at let's say the cool kids table, right? And suddenly that cool kids table gets infiltrated by people who are nasty. They want to destroy things, but at the same time, people become scared of offending them, so they go along with those individuals. So suddenly, you get kicked out of your own table. Well, what do you do? You can try and fight and come back in, but then you'll always be taking a position of lower status than these individuals because they have shown that they control how you actually um, can 
exist. So instead, the best thing to do is start over. And then once you start over, probably the best thing is to simply, um, I wouldn't say create barriers, but have a selection process for people who, to be part of that club. So for many, many years, there, there was a, we were a nation of closed groups. And then as we became more and more inclusive, what happened is this nasty thing started occurring where people would suddenly realized there was no barriers to entry so they'd go into all these closed clubs and just destroy them they'd tear them down now there are no closed clubs there's no no place where people say this is only for this particular group of people anymore because even the boy scouts they say well you gotta have let people of all genders in there well i mean the name boy scout sort of annotates that you know boys should be part of that club and nobody else but things have changed and I get that but it opens up an opportunity for people who want to destroy things to simply go ahead and destroy them so now what will work is again reintroducing uh, in a way close clubs because then it takes a particular type of person a, a somebody who has you know has the attributes that you want to be a member of that club to get into that club so people value it more if you let anybody in people will just go well i want to destroy this so i know it's never good to gatekeep but it's never good to gatekeep on things which should be open to everybody but if you want to build something a lot of times you need to make sure that you don't let the barbarians in if you're trying to build rome you don't let the enemies inside the gates so you need to build something up first and so just my thoughts on it and i think gina's doing the right thing she's basically she's left the the plantation right she was on the plantation where she was being essentially um told what she could and could not do and she said you know what let me just go go away and then i'll make my own farm somewhere else and i'll build my own crops and i'll have my own cattle that's exactly what she's doing and i think this is the model that other people will eventually start doing themselves. Because if you create something that's 100% yours on your own platform, nobody can take that away from you. Especially over nonsense. Because this is silly nonsense. This is not somebody who, you know, Gina Carano is not racist. She's not sexist. She's not, you know, homophobic or any of that stuff. And she's definitely not anti-Semitic if she's going to be working with a... Uh, somebody who's a prominent person of the Jewish faith but because because we tolerate nonsense we've allowed her to be framed like that and when I say we I, I, I'm referring to society as a whole and it's utter nonsense we tolerate this nonsense and it needs to come to an end anyhow those are just my thoughts let me know what yours are thanks Hey, if you like this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, and I've got an awesome new comic book coming out on Indiegogo called Kinetic, which is about a girl who can harness the power of a thousand dimensions to fight for good.